again, YTPC. I'm back again. Had two videos in one day. So I got Aaron Moore loaded up in my Wessex. Talking about this morning got me wanting to smoke it. Got the garage door open because uh, this straight Virginia flake, uh, it makes it into the house apparently. The wife smells it. She don't like it. So But it ain't too bad out since we got back on our errands. Picked up uh picked up more bird seed to fill up the feeders. Got that done. Got some more food for the squirrels so they don't empty out the feeders. Went to Menards to get that. Picked up this Sprecher. It's craft. It's a uh, craft root beer, and it's excellent with my pipes. It's called Sprecher. I don't know if you have any of that in your area or not. I thought I'd have a smoke, go in, get cleaned up, and then we'll be heading to uh, visit the uh, the son and his beautiful wife and granddaughter. It's overall been a pretty good day. So in my last video, I was talking about CAO blends, my moon trance, and I had a guy comment. He was correcting me because my memory sucks. Uh, Eileen's Dream is another blend from CAO that I have yet to try. And I don't know, just from the, from the description of that blend and I mean, everybody who has it loves it. But it's like hazelnut and white chocolate. and I just don't know. It's probably really good. I just don't know if I want to spend the money on that or not yet. Probably uh, stick with what I've been researching, looking into. I have no doubt it's probably an enjoyable smoke, but cloudy today. But the wind died down from this morning. It was windy this morning. It was pretty cold. We got a bunch of chickadees and nut hatches that live that families of them around the house. God, they're funny. Watching those nut hatches, look them up. They are, they're a neat bird. And you always know what they are. Just the way they act. They're like a, somewhat like a woodpecker. They peck at trees and eat bugs and that. But the chickadees, they're just, uh, they go crazy. They're, they're out all winter. Just foraging. They're survivors, that's for sure. That's why I enjoy them. <clears throat> it's good to see, still see, you know, birds, things in nature in the in the winter time. So many see less of the squirrels chipmunks, all that. I got a couple neighbors. Most of my neighbors are real cool. Get along with them great. I got a couple neighbors. I can just tell they're, they're uh, 
introverts. That's probably the best way to put it. Best word to describe them. You know, the type of people when they are out walking, they refuse to wave. They almost refuse to acknowledge your existence. But they like to stare at me when I'm out here smoking my pipe like I'm some weird, I don't know, like I'm an alien or something. Do enjoy this errand more. Stuff is. I just got to take my time with it. Stuff bites me. Ooh. This helps though. Carbonated drinks help. A lot. I figured that out pretty early on. Well, it made it to about 20 degrees today. That's better than what I thought it was going to be. Hmm. I was thinking about that earlier video. I probably shouldn't have let the cat out of the bag about that pipe. I bet on. That was kind of stupid. <laughs> Not that I get that many people in my channel yet, but there's probably be a few that are like, oh, really? Hmm. Check that out. <laughs> I miss those days. I used to used to shop on eBay a lot. Back probably 15 years ago. When it was in its infancy. Uh, so that kind of that's getting my Juice is flowing again, you know, checking on it. Remember back those days. Hey, what, man? That's a beautiful pipe. Hope it goes my way. This, uh, me acquiring pipes, I gotta, I gotta kind of slow down, okay, getting a little bit too, I think overzealous is probably the perfect word, where I'm not, I'm not spending huge amounts on the pipes, but it's adding up, I'm spending enough to where it's adding up. but I mean that's that's half of that's half of this whole experience to me I want to have 100 pipes before I'm 60 years old so that'd be what I'm 52 I got 8 years and I ain't got 10 yet one thing about eBay that I noticed though they have a lot of a lot at least with the estate pipes they have a lot of older K Woodies and Dr. Grabow pipes and you can tell how much better quality they were back in the you know, back in the 50s and 60s, even 70s. I think once the 80s hit, I think the, the quality, they started, uh, well, you probably have to figure back when you had 10 times more people buying pipes, it was a lot easier to, you know, put the craftsmanship, the quality into it. And still sell them is affordable, keep them affordable for people. And then once you had all the laws and restrictions and regulations and all that, and people just, I mean, it probably just bottomed out. You didn't have near as many people buying pipes anymore. So they had to, 
at least in my opinion, I think that's probably what happened. Because it was the 80s, wasn't it? Mid to late 80s and actually before that. But that's why I like watching the Mad Men series. If you don't, if you haven't watched Mad Men, you need to check out. That is a, that's when uh, men were really men. <laughs> Yet check that show out. That is everybody's smoking, everybody's drinking, at work, out of work, at home. Pretty misogynistic uh, <laughs> theme, but that's just how things were back in 1960. That's when it's that's when it was based from. I just like watching that, seeing people back how it used to be before, uh, you know, before the whole entire, for everyone's safety, everyone needs to live forever theory kicked in. I don't understand that either. You know, as uh, technology gets better, as the as humanity exists longer, people are going to live longer, and people are going to reproduce. You're going to get more people, more people. Why would you restrict people from something they enjoy? That, yeah, it might kill them eventually. It might shorten their lives, or it might it will. Why restrict that? But that's where we're at. You'll never, it'll never come back. You'll never see a world like it was in the, back in the, the, the days that that show was based on. You'll never see it again. Matter of fact, it's going the other way because we're getting, you're getting more rights, for, you know, stripped from you every year all for the common good everyone's well-being that's called a nanny state mm, so good Y'all got to try this with your pipe, I'm telling you. Just find any craft root beer or cream soda or anything. Anything carbonated. I can't really drink beer with, with my pipe. It just don't. I see a lot of guys do it, too. A lot of people do it. On different channels, out, they just love having a beer with their pipe. Man, not me. Hope my friend David from Rock and Steady puts out another video soon. I think he works, his work schedule's kind of messed up though. He I think he works on the weekends. He works Saturday and Sunday, I think. So he puts out a couple, three videos a week. It's usually on Monday, Tuesday, his days off. Hmm. Beautiful. It does have a, you know, this Aaron Moore. It does have a pretty strong tobacco smoke. It just, it's on your clothes. So, I mean, that's one thing to, to remember, you know, to know about it before you start smoking it. It's noticeable. Most are. You know. My wife, she's just got a bionic nose, so it doesn't matter. I mean, Unfortunately, it 
It is very enjoyable though. Tastes wonderful. Retro hails. Wonderful. One more question before I go. I'm wondering, I want comments from everybody. One thing I worry about, I was just talking about, you know, the, uh, the health aspect of pipe smoking, cigar smoking. What do you think about, I do worry about, like, since I retrohale a lot, clearing out my sinuses. And I'm debating whether I want to get one of those Navaj thing where it flushes out your sinuses. What, what do you all think about that? Is it necessary to invest in something like that if you're a pipe smoker? Been thinking about it more and more. Because just, you know, blowing your nose and clearing out your... That, that doesn't really do the trick. I'm wondering if maybe... In the shower, I do sit in the steam a lot in the shower. Try to clean out my sinuses that way. But... I'm wondering if I need something a little more than that. So, uh, I know it's kind of a gross subject, but I would like comments about it. So, well, I'm going to finish up my smoke, listen to some Pandora for a while, then get cleaned up. Hope everyone has an awesome remaining Saturday, Saturday night. Till next time, keep them moving.